And all finished. Okay, we good? We're rolling? Hey, welcome back to Legends of Lemp. It's February. We took January off as a team to get some things done. We had several projects going on. We, we were able to accomplish a few of them, but you've caught us in the middle of one we did not wrap up in January, unfortunately. We're still going on this one. It's a Craftsman, 1917 Craftsman on Lafayette Avenue, a very famous street in St. Louis, just down the block from, uh, from Volkamp's last house that he had, which we have covered in our uh, previous episodes. So. We're gonna show you us working on this house because we have to finish it up. We're so close. I think you're gonna enjoy what we have to show you. So come on in. It's a little messy because it's a work in progress, but we have some very nice features in this house. Okay, so this is a project that I'm doing with Nikki. So I'm gonna let Nikki talk you through the details of this gorgeous craftsman from 1917. Hey, Nikki. Hey, everybody. It's Nikki. Um, so we are here at the last final weeks of the Lafayette project that we have been working months on. And we just wanted to kind of show you a few of the special details that really, I think, sold it for us um, in terms of wanting to restore this house back to new. And one of them is this fireplace. Uh, this is one that you don't see a ton of these in St. Louis, I it's feel like. It's a little like. dusty right now. It's a little dusty, but it has this beautiful, almost like arsenic green tile in here. And it was really the inspiration for choosing a wall color that was not um, something that you see uh, a lot right now. You know, you have your grayages and your beiges. So we went with livable green <laughs> to kind of mix with all of the beautiful woodwork. So you have original craftsman woodwork, windows. This room has the picture rail. Uh, we have this fixture. We were thinking about getting rid of it, but we discovered that it actually- it works. Still oh, works. We kept it. So we decided to keep it. Um, one of the true beauties though, are these French doors. Isn't that great? With beveled glass. So there's two sets, one right here, and then one leading into the dining room and then the amount of stained glass in the house still. So you still have these cabinets. They are full of construction material. Yeah. But, um, you we're know, they just- careful about them though. So we've protected mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And they made it through the demo and the rebuild and everything else. Right, everything else. And so they just fold and tuck back in and then you're in the dining room here, which has the wood trim. Yeah. So this would have had the gasolier lamps in each corner. So we'll go to a corner here where a gasolier would have been. That's where a gasolier would have been. Mm -hmm. And then two original stained glass windows. In great condition. Mm hmm Those are in fabulous condition. We did take one wall down, and that was just this wall here. Yep. It did have a doorway, but we decided it was just so cramped. Yeah, the kitchen would have been very small. And so since you have the transitional space between the living and the dining, you can still have it all open to have your open concept or you can close it off if you need to. We actually had to add some trim here because it didn't even exist. There was a wall here, so we had to add some trim and clean it off. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Yep. So that's really uh, some of the great woodwork that's on this floor everywhere else. Um, upstairs, it's it's rooms, but we can kind of show you some of the things that we did with that to turn some non-usable spaces into usable spaces. So we're in the kitchen. Um, everything was tore out. The cabinets and pictures that were in here weren't original, unfortunately. They were pretty much your builder grade from about the 90s. So what we did is that we did do white cabinets in here, but we opted to do something different. We didn't put in a light countertop. 
We put in this black leathered granite here. So it does have a bit, it has a bit of a texture um, and it looks just more elevated, I would like to think. And we just had to go with a green backsplash. We couldn't do white subway. Um, it's a craftsman. We had to make sure that we threw one of those craftsman touches wherever we had to completely renovate. And then you've got the black granite all here in the kitchen with this nice island as well, which you have um, dishwasher, sink, and then uh, we even tucked the microwave in the cabinets. I'm not a fan of having a microwave above the range or sitting on the countertop, so we just tucked it in. Um, but we also used this granite countertop in other places. We used it right here on this windowsill, and we used it in one of the bathrooms upstairs as well, so that way we didn't waste the slab. You know, this was all just one slab, and our countertop guy was really good at being able to make sure we utilized everything. Hi, welcome to my favorite room in the whole house. So you'll notice this is a small room. There is no closet, so it doesn't make it a legal bedroom here in St. Louis, but I think it has the beautiful bay window that it would make an amazing office space or a flex space. But what's also really fun is that you have a pocket door into the bedroom. This is not the primary bedroom, but it is the first bedroom. We put in two closets here because there used to be uh, a pocket door right along that wall, so and it had a closet in it. So we put your closets in here. Uh, you can put a beautiful bench seat here if you want to, and then you've got a nice, big, beautiful window to look outside. Here is the full bath. So we have shower tub combo, uh, sweet little vanity, but this is one of the places that we reused or re, um, reused that granite countertop. So we used it right here on this nice little ledge. We did put in your subway tile in here, but we chose a dark gray grout. And we've got the original marble sill that just needs to be cleaned up. Welcome to the primary suite. In here, you have three big, beautiful windows. Um, you can see the tub that we're putting in. It is not an actual old vintage tub, but it came from vintage tub and bath. So uh, we wanted to bring in some of that old charm into this, into this space. We recycled those pocket doors and put it here for the closet. We have to do some cleaning up on them, but uh, we'll get them to shine really, really well with just a little bit of elbow grease. But one of the great spaces is the bathroom. So this didn't have a bathroom before, um, but now it does. So you'll have the shower, the big beautiful tub right here. You've got your vanity, this beautiful dark green color. Our window guy tempered these windows so that way they're safe, but it also adds a little bit of privacy. We just need to clean them up really well. And my favorite part about a primary bathroom is having a toilet room. There's no toilet yet, but if you've ever lived with someone, you'll appreciate having a separate room for the toilet. Added bonus, second floor laundry. You'd have to put a stack in, but you don't have to drag your laundry baskets down to the basement and bring them back up. Come on upstairs. This is where you have two other bedrooms up in the attic. Uh, this again, never had air conditioning and didn't have really good heat. It had baseboard heaters, but now you will be perfectly comfortable in the uh, Missouri summers and our cold winters. 
New windows, these are the only two, or the only new windows are up here in the attic space. They have these huge closets in here, if you can see. Lots of space for storage. And you get the added loft space that we walked through right here. So this is like a little mini living room. You've got some cables set up for an entertainment center, perfect space for a couch or a couple of chairs. We're gonna put in this really low profile light fixture in here. Um, when we first walked the house, there was a ceiling fan here and it actually had the pull chain was low enough to hit me in the shoulders. So it had, it had to go. And then you have the last bedroom, which is just like the one across the way. So it is a full four bedroom, two and a half bath. endless. You can just keep cleaning, trim, and glass.
Thank you.